Welcome back guys and in today's video I want to talk about how to fix low FPS and stuttery gameplay when you are recording with Nvidia Shadowplay. Now this issue has plagued me for roughly one year now and I actually think that this has been a driver update that has caused this problem um, that led to very stuttery gameplay in Shadowplay because before that I never had any issues and all of my Shadowplay footage was always super smooth. Now before we continue, I want to mention that this issue for me personally mostly occurs when I have multiple monitors connected to my system and it rarely ever happens when I have just one connected. So maybe what I'm proposing in this video might also help you to fix stuttering if you only have one monitor connected to your system. However, this video is primarily targeted at people that have multiple monitors and in this case also multiple monitors that run at a different uh, refresh rate. So for instance, my primary display runs at 240 Hz, whereas my secondary display only runs at 120 Hz. And it is exactly this constellation of a higher and a lower refresh rate um, displays where I'm seeing very low uh, FPS or very stuttery gameplay when recording with Nvidia Shadowplay. So first let's look at a clip that is clearly recorded at a lower FPS than 60. So just by looking at this, we can notice that this looks very choppy. It doesn't look like 60 FPS gameplay, even though I did record it at 60 FPS according to Nvidia Shadowplay. And you can just see that something feels off. But of course, it's kind of difficult to actually diagnose this uh, by just looking at a gameplay recording. So the way to actually figure out if you did record at low FPS is to download a tool called Media Info. And basically what this does is it allows you to inspect a video file and to figure out what the exact frame rate is that the video has been recorded. And down here you can see that the frame rate apparently seems to be at variable, which it usually is with Nvidia Shadowplay. However, the target frame rate should always be at the one that you actually set it to. So in my case, I set it to 60 FPS, but you can see that the frame rate of this recorded video piece is only roughly 45 FPS. And even worse, you can see that the minimum frame rate went down to less than 30 FPS, making the video look extremely choppy. So basically the simple way to check whether your gameplay recordings have been recorded at the proper frame rate that you've set up in the GeForce Experience overlay is to open up your media files with media info and double checking whether frame rate is set to the proper value. So now that you know how to diagnose this issue, let's now also talk about a few potential fixes that might or might not resolve low FPS recordings with Nvidia Shadowplay. Well, the first one that I've seen people recommend is to actually reset the refresh rate of your primary monitor. So in my case, I would simply set the refresh rate of my primary monitor, the one that I wanna record with, uh, to a lower value, hit apply, and then set it back to what you actually want to record at, and that should apparently fix it. Now, in my case, that really didn't help. I still had low FPS in my recordings. So let's talk about the second potential fix to this issue, which is to disable desktop recording. Now, to do this, go to your GeForce experience, go down to privacy control and disable desktop capture. Now, unfortunately for me, this once again didn't help and I still had low FPS recordings. Now, the one and only solution that actually did fix low FPS recordings in Nvidia Shadowplay in my case was to completely unplug my secondary monitor. Once again, this recording you're seeing right now has been recorded just after unplugging my secondary monitor. I didn't change anything else. I just unplugged it, restarted the game, and voila, smooth gameplay. Media Info confirms this suspicion. If we look at the file, we can see that it's now recorded at a frame rate of 60 FPS. On the other hand, as soon as I replug my secondary monitor, we can see that the gameplay once again becomes a little bit choppy and just not as fluid as it was before. It just feels a bit off. And if we look at the media info of that file once again, we can see that the frame rate is no longer 60 FPS. Now I understand that unplugging your secondary monitor can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you wanna have Discord open and see who talks to you. So there is one more sort of more workaround rather than fix to this issue if you still want to use two monitors and record your gameplay footage. And that is to actually use OBS instead of NVENC. You see, OBS basically is as good as using NVENC. It's just a little bit more involved to actually set up properly. So let's briefly walk through my setup of OBS that sort of replicates recording with Nvidia Shadowplay. So in OBS, go to settings and first of all, go to the advanced tab. 
make sure color space is at 709 and color range on limited. Also, you want to record at the 4208 bit color space. Then go to output, go over to the recording tab, set up your output folder, select the MP4 um, recording format, select however many recording tracks you need to record with. So for instance, your gameplay and your microphone. Then select the NVIDIA NVENC HEVC encoder. This is actually a better encoder than the one that you're getting with Shadowplay. This is actually H.265. Uh, so that is actually a better compressing um, encoder setting that gives you better results. On the rate control, use CQP with a CQ level of 20. Now, if you want to make it look even better, you can still decrease this value a little bit more. However, I noticed that with a CQ level of roughly 20, I would get about the same bit rates as the one that I set up in NVIDIA Shadowplay. So in Shadowplay, I always record at 130 megabits per second on my uh, 1440p display that is. And with a CQ level of 20, I'm running around, yeah, maybe 110, 120 megabits per second, which is great because as I mentioned, the encoder is a little bit better than the H.264 that NVENC uses and therefore the image looks better anyways. Keyframe interval leave on auto, use the fastest or lowest quality preset because otherwise you'll get insane lag in game. Um, use a tuning of high quality, multi pass you should disable, single pass here. Use the main profile and disable look ahead and psycho visual tuning. Now, if you're interested in a more in-depth rundown of each and every recording setting in OBS Studio, then definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will work on a video that shows every setting, what impact they have on image quality and then once again, what probably would be my recommended settings because this is just basically a very quick and dirty way of doing the settings in OBS that relatively nicely match what you're getting with NVIDIA Shadowplay. Now, if you are still getting slightly more lag because you're using OBS, another trick that you can do is to actually disable the preview, which then again saves you a little bit of CPU resources if you are in a CPU bound scenario. On the other hand, if you want to get the best settings for NVIDIA Shadowplay, then check out this video where I'm running through the settings that I'm using in NVIDIA Shadowplay to produce all the content that you're seeing on my channel. Also smash subscribe if you want to get more tutorials on how to improve your video quality for YouTube, how to better record, how to better render, what the best settings are, and of course also so that you don't miss any of my FPS guides. But that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.